Hey guys, I'm Heather Zwain, and I had the chance to speak with Taryn Schaefer, Executive Vice President, Chief Creative Officer, and the buyer for Saks Fifth Avenue on NBC's hit show Fashion Star at the Dwight Englewood Fashion Show presented by Saks Fifth Avenue. We had a chance to talk spring trends and what brings him to New Jersey. Check it out. I want to talk about, first of all, you're in Bergen County, New Jersey. This is very exciting for us. So thank you for coming. And I want to talk about your favorite spring trends that you've been buying. Um, my favorite spring trends, um, I love the black and white, um, the botanical florals, um, the influence that the Japanese have had on fashion. Um, the, those are probably my favorite trends, but the black and white, I'm a real black and white person. And uh, Going to Fashion Star, I mean, this is a huge show now. We have really great people um, as the judges, Jessica Simpson and Nicole Ritchie. John Barbados. Yes, and John Barbados. What do you look for when you're going to buy for one of these designers? Pretty clothes. I mean, that's what um, we really are looking for. Saks has a long history of promoting new young designers. We launched the careers for Carolina Herrera, for Marc Jacobs, Jimmy Choo, even Estee Lauder launched her career at Saks. So we believe in supporting young, new talent, and it's important, and we want pretty clothes. And have you started this season? Has it, it been taped? on Friday night, 8 p.m. on NBC. Okay, can you give us a, like a little glimpse into anything yet? or I can't, because then you won't watch the show. No, no, I, w <laughs> I will watch the show. There's an interesting um, exchange between myself and the woman from Ex um, Express at the end of the show. Now, when you do accept a buyer, their clothes go into the stores pretty quickly, right? Well, the first season, um, we did have the clothes both in-store, um, the brick-and-mortar stores, and on Saks.com. This season, we found that the success was much greater just doing it as an online buy. So it will be, the clothes will be available only on Saks.com. And how quick is the turnaround? So they get chosen, I see this on a Friday, and then I could shop the next day? You know, the thing that makes Fashion Star so unique is that most reality shows you vote uh, with your telephone. With Fashion Star, you vote with your wallet, and you can wear the winner tomorrow. So that's what makes it unique. And do you see that the designers that are picked usually, I mean, really blow up and then, or is it kind of like a one hit wonder? Last year's winner, um, Cara Larix, um, is on sale in sex.com now. So we've continued to carry Cara Larix clothes um, online. And she was last year's winner. And out of all the trends we're seeing now, is there anything that you would just eliminate from the fashion world if you could? You know, that's the beautiful thing about fashion, it's everybody, it's about style more than fashion. I mean, the woman who can put herself together with different years, trends, and make a statement, that's the kind of woman that we're interested in, stylish women. But like, for me, if I could eliminate one piece of clothing from this whole entire universe, it'd be the bandage dress. So, is there any one piece of fashion, you know, like shoulder pads or Crocs or, you know, one of these, <laughs> um, <laughs> these really well, short, tight dresses. You know, but at a certain point in time, we all thought that um, Joan Collins looked amazing in shoulder pads. So one man's meat is another man's poison mm -hmm. kind of thing. So at a certain point in time, shoulder pads were absolutely the item to have. Oh, but, I wear them still. Um, but... There, there isn't um, the bandage dress. If um, you see Giselle Bunchen in a bandage a dress, story. it's a different yeah. story. <laughs> All right, and who are you wearing? Um, Anderson and Shepherd from oh, London. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't London know. London on Savile Row. Well, you look very, very dapper. And what is, what is this? I love this. An affectation. It, it was, a, it was designed um, to be a clasp for a string of pearls. And it's um, in the shape of a heart, and it's something that I wear every day. Oh, I like that. It has personal meaning for you. It has a lot of personal meaning. Well, I love it. You look great. Thank you again for coming. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.